Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. The governor is expected to release more plans about reopening Michigan's economy next week. But we do know it will be a slow process driven by testing data and businesses with a lower risk of spreading COVID-19 will reopen first. It seems the infection rate is leveling off with more than 30,000 cases to date. 2,200 people have died, a fatality rate of 7%. Right now, Michigan stay-at-home orders are in effect until the end of the month. Beaumont Health is expanding hazard pay for workers on the front lines. As we first reported Wednesday, many nurses and others who treat COVID patients felt left out by the criteria of the plan announced this week. But in a letter to staff Friday, the CEO admitted missing some key team members and, quote, you let us know. Now all employees in the eligible job families and titles will qualify for one-time hazard payments of $500 or $1,000. A restaurant in Wayne is finding a new mission as a pop-up shop during the pandemic. US 12 Bar and Grill on Michigan Avenue is selling products that are very much in demand these days. It teamed up with wholesaler Cisco Detroit to offer a menu that includes disinfectants, paper products for the home, masks, gloves, and other items. The plan calls for the pop-up shop to operate until US 12 Bar and Grill can open up again as a dine-in restaurant. From one hero to another, first responders put on a big show of support for healthcare workers fighting COVID-19. Detroit police and fire, along with other agencies, came together for the parade. They honored workers at the DMC campus and the John Dingle VA Medical Center. So nice to see. Let's get a check on the weather now with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth. He has your seven first alert forecast. It is the weekend and that starts with sunshine. Now it finishes with some showers on Sunday, but it's all warmer. 52 Saturday, 55 Sunday. Next week's not bad for temperatures as well. At least Monday and Tuesday will stay dry.